Friday night starts now and President William Ruto has affirmed his government's commitment to revive industries in the country to create employment for millions of unemployed Kenyans. The head of state unveils a new Devki steel mill, a 30 billion investment in Kwale County, and lamented the declining contribution of manufacturing to the Kenyan economy. The president saying his government would create a favorable policy environment for local manufacturers, even as Devki Group Chairman Narendra Guru called for protection of local industries from imports. Stephen Letour reports. TMT bars are the one we normally use for construction. During the unveiling of a multi-billion shillings Devki steel mill in Samburu, Kinango, Kwale County, President William Ruto said his government is keen to bring back the lost glory of local industries that created millions of jobs directly and indirectly and sustained Kenyan families in the past. Brokers have changed the policy to favor products that are imported. I want to tell our industry that we are going to make sure that we put in place policy framework and I have already given instructions so that we can make a policy framework that favors production, that favors manufacture, that favors our industries so that we can grow our jobs and we can also ensure that we save on our foreign exchange by making sure that products that we can produce locally are not imported by middlemen and brokers. Devki Group Chairman Narendra Guru was the president's host had asked the president to protect local manufacturers, focusing on promotion of locally manufactured goods during his speech to the gathering, composed of senior government officials, fellow investors and locals. Let us see how we can make Kenya import free clinker that is cement and steel. One billion dollar importation we are doing. If we save a billion dollar in a year, we have no shortage of, of, uh, of uh, dollars. Today, bank doesn't give you dollars. Ten thousand dollars they give you. We are going to make sure that we put in place policy framework, and I have already given instructions, so that we can make a policy framework that favors production, that favors manufacture, that favors our industries. The head of state telling the gathering that 16 giant industries had collapsed with over 5,000 people losing jobs. President Ruto added that collapsed industries used to contribute 9% to the GDP, which had dropped to the current 7%. We have agreed with Kenya Association of Manufacturers. We have agreed with our industry that we are going to move our contribution of industrialization from the current 7% to 20% by 2030. That is why they have adopted that it is going to be 20 by 30. The Ruto administration says it wants to change tack by reducing imports and in turn increasing exports. America have put 250% duty on any imported steel since last six years. 250% duty is put by USA to protect their local industries. We have never put duty on imported raw material what is made in Kenya. Why? Because we don't know. Either we are weak or we are selfish. Kutokana na agizo lako mwishimiwa rais, tayari tumelifanyi ya kazi. Tumegundua ile 20% ya hitaji sheria, na ile 10% tayari kunayo sheria tutaleta kwa baraza ya mawaziri, ili ugavi wa rasli malihu uweze kuwa na utaratibu mzuri. To ease movement of goods in the coastal region and open up the region for investors, the president said more roads will be constructed with those already underway expedited. Tunatarajia kwamba mzigo hii itakuwa inabebwa maratatu kwa wiki. Na ya kwamba hiyo itakuwa imepatia CO2 biashara na faida kwa watu wa hapa. Samburu lakini pia imepatia 
kujenga uchumi ya taifa nzima. The new mill said to employ 1000 Kenyans. That's set to expand to 2000 when it starts operating at full capacity. The president saying the issue of local iron ore for the mill and others and use of local coal to power such industries as opposed to imports will also be areas of focus for government. Stephen Leto Citizen TV.